Stop 248. Richard Powell, Professor of Art and Art History, Duke University. John Biggers is one of the first American artists to spend a significant period of time in Africa. And when I look at this painting, I think about how he has absorbed so much about a life and culture and art, particularly in West Africa. He incorporates textile patterns. He clearly has seen the sculptures that one can find in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Senegal. He zooms in on the forms, the figures of uh, West African men and especially women. These children, these people are both West African men and women, but they're also North Carolinians. We see the overalls on um, some of the figures. We see children with braids on their heads that could easily be dropped in Gastonia as well as in Ghana. So John Biggers is one of the artists who one could argue is ahead of the game in terms of thinking about something called an African diaspora. The idea of African peoples who were dispersed through the transatlantic slave trade, through colonialism, and not only are their ancestors appearing in places like North Carolina, South Carolina, Haiti, Cuba, Brazil, but their cultural traditions are transplanted as well. These rows of men and women and children literally stand upright, but metaphorically carry their culture on their shoulders, on their heads, in their arms with amazing energy and power. 